Hey guys, Amano here, and before I jump into the video, I just want to ask you guys to like and subscribe to the channel. But like this video, I'm going to give you guys a second to do that. Okay, now that's over. Guys, in my mind, Kyle Lowry has always been the best Raptor ever. He's the greatest Raptor of all time. He's the player that's played the longest for the Raptors, and he holds a lot of records for the Toronto Raptors. And the city of Toronto is near and dear to Kyle Lowry. And you can tell by the way he talks about Toronto and how he carries himself. And recently, Kyle Lowry proved this to be true because recently, Kyle Lowry and another former Raptors legend Vince Carter were on a podcast and they got to talking about, you know, basketball, golf, and the city of Toronto. And by extension, Chris Broussard came up and what Chris Broussard had to say about the city of Toronto. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, about two months ago, exactly when Kevin Durant asked for a trade, Chris Broussard came out and he spewed out some vitriol about the city of Toronto in hopes to deter Kevin Durant from, you know, going to Toronto because like every other talking head and pundit in the media, he's not very fond of the Toronto Raptors. Down in the States, they don't really like the Toronto Raptors and the guy like Chris Broussard, especially, he doesn't like uh, the Toronto Raptors and he loathes at the idea that the city of New York, where he's from and where he works, would lose a superstar like Kevin Durant in the Brooklyn Nets and go to Toronto instead. And so, in a spineless, shameless attempt to try and deter Kevin Durant or try and not go to Toronto, he said some things that were completely just wrong, out of line, in my opinion. And this is what he had to say. See, I don't think KD would want to go to Toronto. And you're right, Nick, I visited there many times. Obviously, I was there covering the league. Great city, but Twan, you know, it's not America, and you feel it when you're there. I'm telling you, especially as an African-American, it's a different situation than African-Americans are used to being in. And they've all, I've talked to people in that organization pre-Ujiri about can they keep African-American superstars there. Tracy McGrady left, Vince Carter left, Chris Bosh left. You mentioned Kawhi. I don't think KD would be happy there and that would be a problem. As you can see, he basically said that Kevin Durant basically won't be a good fit in Toronto because Toronto is in Canada and is in a different country. And because of that, it's going to be hard for him because somehow, some way, you know, black people aren't welcomed in Toronto or it's hard to be a black person in Toronto or whatever nonsense idea he has of Canada and whatever nonsense idea he has of Toronto, that's what he was projecting. Um, and he was just making all these assumptions that were completely wrong. Uh, you know what I mean? A lot of people live in Toronto that are black and they have nothing to say but great things about Toronto. And unsurprisingly and very kindly, Vince Carter and Kyle Lowry came to the defense of Toronto. And this is what I like about this whole situation. Vince Carter and Kyle Lowry didn't have, they don't have to defend Toronto. These guys have moved on from Toronto, right? But this is what they had to say. But uh, what's your thoughts about like, you know, what was said, <laughs> but what was said about, you know, Toronto is in a just, just looking at my phone, like, you wait if you let me speak, cause. Okay, cool. About Toronto not being a desirable place for black or African American for black for black athletes to play, and it, it's just it, it's mind boggling to me because of all the guys that have desired to come play, resign there, success there. I have homeboys, black homeboys who have gone to Toronto and married out of there, <laughs> <laughs> like, and who lit there. So it's just it's just baffling to me. But anyway. What is your, like, what's your thoughts? A lot of dual citizenship people, you know, kids being born. You but know, be, in yeah. Now they're, yeah. So, they're dual citizens now because of it. So. Yeah. I don't, um, I don't talk about others and, you know, what people say because I don't care to. Don't care to respond to anybody else because I, whatever. I do, I, I, I am a black, African-American, black, black, 
from 20th and Lehigh, North Philadelphia. I absolutely love Toronto. <laughs> I absolutely spent eight years of my career. Yes, I was, there were times like, man, I need to go somewhere else. And it wasn't because of being black. It was because of the situation. Being black is, I, like, honestly, I, I lived in North York. Uh, I, well, I seen black people all the time. I seen, first of all, most, there are more Jamaicans in <laughs> in Canada. That's, they might, the, 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 the Caribbean culture in, in Canada alone is ridiculous. Top and, up. and you just appreciate the, the, how would I appreciate it? And it's kind of a melting pot. You know, it's uh, of Canada, and you you can find any race, like uh, any like any nationality mixed with any nationality in Canada. And sidebar, it's unbelievable. I have a sidebar for those who are listening, and you're gonna agree with this. For those who are listening right now, if you never had the opportunity to attend Carabana, make that a priority to attend Carabana one time. All right, I'm done. Carry on, Mr. Yeah, oh, you were saying. Oh. OVO, OVO weekend is uh, this weekend, so you know you guys. You guys, if you want to go up there, you know, another you sidebar. <laughs> if you ever get a chance to attend Caravan or OVO weekend, you must do so, and you will learn a lot about Canada and and the people of Canada and the culture and what is actually walking around in Canada every day. Yeah, and how many uh, how many African Americans, aka Black people, who are trying to get into Canada to be in to hang out in Canada. So that was their rebuttal to the haters and any talking heads um, in the media who just say completely wrong things about Toronto. Like, I don't know if this is an American thing, but a lot of Americans don't know about their neighbors. They don't know about the world in general, and Canada included. Like, for as close as Toronto is to the United States, they don't literally know nothing about you know the about their neighbors about canada about living in canada the history of canada what is it like for other people living in canada that's what leads you know a professional like chris broussard to say some dumb dumb stuff like what he was saying about oh you know it's just different it's you know it's a different country i'm glad that people like vince carter and kyle lowry who have lived in toronto extensively who are American, like you said, um, not just black, but American, have lived in the culture of uh, the U.S., can say good things about Toronto because it gives you that contrast. Because myself, I'm black, right? I grew up in Canada. I've been to Toronto multiple times. And I can tell you that living in Canada is one of the best things ever. I was just down in North Dakota, right? But I haven't lived in the United States for an extensive period of time to contrast that to Canada, but someone like Kyle Lowry, who grew up in the United States, has had an ample time in the United States, an ample time in Canada, and has contrasted the two and can say and can only say great things about Toronto. He says, "I love Toronto, and there's so much to love about Toronto." As you can also hear, um, his kids were born in Canada, and so they are by extension Canadian. He didn't have to come to the rescue of Toronto. He didn't have to say anything good about Toronto. I mean, these two guys have moved on. Kyle Lowry is a Heat player, and um, his team is really good. I mean, Miami. But Miami is one of the best cities um, in the world for entertainment, so I've heard. But you can tell that Toronto still has Kyle Lowry's heart. I mean, that's where he birthed his kids. That's where he won his first championship. That first championship is always going to be the best and most special for him if he wins any other because that was his breakthrough. So the city of Toronto has clearly been kind to him and it's clearly been kind to Vince Carter. If you've never been to Toronto, I encourage you go check it out for once and see for yourself. But aside from that guys, thank you guys for watching. If this is the kind of content that you like, I do not highly recommend you subscribe to the channel. Aside from that, see you next time kids.